what's up guys welcome back to my channel all right so today i'm back again with another strategy that we can actually use to trade crash 300 <coughs> crash 300 boom 300 and crash 1000 solely right so the strategy is a very simple one that we actually we don't need much indicator we are just using two indicators and the two indicators that we are using are what are a very leading and very powerful indicator right so meanwhile if you're yet if you are new to my youtube channel and you are yet to subscribe to it please hit on that subscribe button and turn on make sure you turn on the bell notification so that you still updated each time i'm dropping a new content right a new video right and if you are yet to join my telegram channel you can actually do it as well do what join the telegram channel you'll find a link in the description of this video and if you actually need any any app based on trading or whatever <clears throat> you can actually still check uh, description you'll find my contact there you can send me a mail or you actually message me on telegram or whatsapp and if you are very fortunate enough that we are in the same region you can actually please the call or please be mindful of your word of your word don't take my simplicity for granted right so that was too much of your time guys the strategy is a very powerful one and very cool you can use it on crash 300 and what and crash boom 300 with crash 1000 solely right right so the strategy is a very simple one without wasting much of your time i'll be going into the what how the strategy works i'm going to be dropping the settings of the strategy in the middle of the video right so but meanwhile before we go there let me go to let me go on how it works right so we are using two indicators this is the first indicator here and this is the second indicator right this is the second indicator so basically what we are actually looking at is just this right let me start from here right let me start from the beginning right, so we can actually see the recent one that we have here right this is crash 300 so what we are actually looking at for i know you might have come across it probably you might be trading it or you've heard about it you watch a video or you actually read a pdf that the market moves in m's and dots and w right so we're actually going to be trading the w pattern right with this strategy now we are trading the w pattern with just two indicator to confirm for us but the the pros and cons of this strategy is that we are just trading the w's right so for cash 1000 we all know that we are going to be buying right so if we're actually buying that means we're actually taking a what we are taking a what a w right that means we're taking so we are taking if we are buying now that means we are taking the second leg of this w not the first leg so what we'll do is that with this indicator now we actually wait for the indicator to give us our w right the indicator to confirm our for price to confirm our w but for price to confirm our w now there are what there are criteria to it first and foremost both the first leg and the second leg of the w must be below this our uh, moving average that we have here on our main chart so in a scenario like this this is what we have this is actually what this is a w this is our first leg right and this is our this is our first leg this is what the retracement and then we'll have the second leg then we'll have the what the continuation of it so you can actually enter from here and take your what your five to ten candles or 15 candles or 20 candles as the case may be all right as the case may be now if you are confused and you don't know what the actual w look at now you can actually switch your what your indicator your chart you can switch it from you can actually switch it to what to line chart to line chart to line chart so you can switch it to live chart to line chart how do okay we we'll have settings okay so we can see it what to line chart so you actually see that this is a what this is a w right so to the other side if you are if you are finding it very difficult to get the w on your what on your candle pattern then you can switch to your line chart you actually see it right and you appreciate it more you can see this is the first leg we have the retracement right then we now have the word 
the the inducement again then we'll have the word the second leg that we're actually taking this now now the, the thing there is that when we talk about m's and w or let me just limit it to m right to w now for crash 1000 is going to be w but for boom one boom 500 now obviously is going to be what is going to be m so when we talk about m and w they are variation to at least i know of three types of m right m and w that we have right so when you are taking when we say we are taking them and w you must know the variation and you must know the condition behind the three types of the w or the m that you are taking you might be very more versatile than me and you actually know more than three right so we all learn every day knowledge is not something you can actually keep so if you actually need the videos on me explaining the what the m's and w how they are found the psychology behind their formation and how you can actually take them right you can actually comment in the video that you need the what the videos on m and w and i'm once i have like 50 once i have 50 to 100 comments on it that you need it i'm going to drop it what a detailed video on how you can trade the m's and w pattern in the forest not just synthetic this is now like i'm going to uh, i'm going to enlarge it to we're going to encompass it to what uh, to of uh, volatility indices and if time permit us we can actually take it we can extend it to currency pa2 right so for this w that we have here now this is a w that we call uh this is a w that we call what um what do we call it we call it um we have the very uh, the normal w or have the um we have the normal m's and w we have the advanced w and we have the we have the normal w right we have the normal we have the normal w right we have our normal w then we have the advanced w right and we have the that's the two that i remember first that's the two that i remember so on this now you actually see that this is the normal w that we have right this is our normal w and this is our what this is our advanced w so you can actually see that the the thing there is that this this is still the same thing with as this right it's just for you to know the what the variation in it and whatever strategy you are using i've always told you that you must be able to see your market structure in whatever strategy you are using your ability to see your market structure really goes a long way towards to keep it for you now if you look at this now right we actually have we actually have we, we had this break in market structure Right, so while this breaking market so sorry the strategy works perfectly on m1 and m5 and above right so we have the breaking market structure here right so after all this breaking market structure we had a what we had a retracement right now the retracement that we have now and this is another what breaking market structure it came our to took out this previous flow so once we have that now we already know that we are in a what we are in a downtrend but as we are in a downtrend we will tend to have um we tend to have the retracement that we have there what's calling me okay so guys sir so when we we did have the what we did have the retracement right so we we had this breaking market structure right then we have the second breaking market structure and what this is another w right in w right but this might really be convincing for you but the moment they take out this eye here right you can actually enter the peak we call it the apex or the the peak or whichever you want to call it once they take it out you can actually enter for your buy and take it down so that is the confirmation you'll be looking out for right that's the confirmation you'll be looking out for so you have your what w right so from here you can enter for your buy right and while you actually entry for your buy now you actually link to the that's the first confirmation then the second confirmation is that when you are entering for your buy right it must be above 
towards the second leg that we want to enter for a buy price must be above this moving average so once price goes above this moving average you can enter for your what for your buy and you can take your five to ten five to twenty candles depending on your account size depending on your equity right depending on your equity so you can take it there and then now that is the first confirmation. So the first confirmation is that price must close above this moving average once you've gotten your what your w pattern for crash one for crash 1000 or crash 300 once you've gotten your w pattern so the moment the second leg close above the words the moving average up you can take your buy and that is the first moment so you can take your buy and once this marked in and this other indicator here is actually above this zero level then that is the last that is the last confirmation you must wait for the second confirmation you wait for after you've seen your what your m your w right and price has closed above this moving average right so so guys just let me go back to my line chart so that we 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 won't we won't waste so let me go back to my what to my candlestick pattern so we find it very difficult so that's what you need to do you can see this is our breaking market structure these are our breaking market structure so you enter here at the event are here now all right you can see that it is not yet at the what at the zero level so you can actually wait like two candles so two candles will bring them out will bring it up here right so one thing is that your macd might be slow but once to be at the server side wait for this um this um this line on the macd to be above the what the zero level so this is one so if you do your back test very well right if you do your back test very well you will have a lot of opportunity that is one that is one right so this is another example here this is another example here right you can see you have a breaking market structure here you have the breaking market structure here then you have your what you have your what your m your w right you have a w right so you enter from here and you take your five to ten candles right you take your five to ten candles take your five to ten candles you can actually see so you have your what see right so from here you can enter from here right they even the what even the even the moving area is actually giving you the w right even the moving area is giving you the what the w see right it's giving you the w so there are a lot of there are a lot of it all you just need to do is just for you to what to make sure you back there this is another example right? this is another example you can actually see you have a breaking market structure and you can see even your what your moving average actually confirmed the what the w for you and your what your magd is above the zero level right your magd is above the zero level right your magd is above the zero level right so there are a lot of opportunity there so this is another example right so if you really want to enjoy this i just make sure you back test very well and you what you back test very well. this is your w right even your what your uh, your your moving habit to actually confirm it for you right so there are a lot of you so for the for this is for crash 300 now so for crash for boom 300 now right so from 300 now what we'll be having is that we're having a what m in boom 300 we're having our m in boom 300 and right? so for boom 300 now what you need to do is just for you to what you have this breaking market structure to the downside and you have your m right you have your mc look at look at your moving average confirming this m for you look at your moving average confirming this m you can see your m right you can see your m and you can see your macd is below the what the negative zero right so that is telling you that you are in a down trend so you can take your five to ten candles right so if you enter after the close of this candle here right this is one two three four five six seven eight nine right and you have a spike so you are patient you still have what and you are still not taking out right you are still in profit even with the spike right you are still in profit and you can take your your five to ten candles you don't need to be too greedy guys don't be too greedy right don't be too greedy and then maximize your what your profit and what don't think too much on your profit don't focus too much on your profit focus on what you'll be risking just apply good risk management and make sure you do your top down analysis right make sure you do your top down analysis so let me share the setting with you so for the 
for the moving average now just click on this f here so the moving average is what the period is 13 shift is zero method is exponential apply to what apply to close the style is four pixels you can use any style of your choice so once you are done you click on done right and then for the magd now so for the magd now we have the fast ema to be 12 the slow ema to be what the slow ema to be 26 and magd sme to be what to be two to be nine sorry so let me give you a pro tips about this now look at this slow eme now right look at this slow eme that is 26 and we look at our what if you look at our if you look at our moving average that we are using on our main screen is 13 that means 13 divided by 2 will give us 2 right so we actually double the words the moving average that we have on our main chart and our words on we we'll double it on our main chart we're having 13 right on our main chart we're having 13 but on our magd now we're having 20 so that means two times of this right so on moving on our main chart it is an exponential moving average which is what which is 13 right so but on our on our in the magd now is a slow is a slow moving average 26 so at the longer run by the time they are done with the calculation it's still going to be what it's still going to be an exponential moving average right it's still going to be a fast moving average to give you what the signal that you need there right to give you the signal that you need there right so once you are done you click on done right so guys do your back test very well let me see if i actually take an entry we can actually take an entry crash crash this is one thing let's look at crash 300 300 okay we've gotten our first leg right so probably once you have another spike like this then i can enter for the second leg now right I can enter for the second leg to take my word my fifth to 10 can do okay, so guys if you have any question you can drop it in the videos please do get to like a comment and share it to other friends let's keep back test very well please do your back test very well knows what works for you right if if it is the normal w that work for you right or the advanced w that work for you no deviation right the advanced w will always take out the first leg and that is why we call it advanced so it's take the the psychology behind that is that if it's taking the second means it's taking the stop loss of the first people that started buying at this area here so that is the psychology behind the what the advanced w but if it is normal w it is not going the first leg is not going to be longer the second log is not going to be longer like the what the first leg so that means what there's liquidity at this area so probably the next time you can just come and take it out and then you have your what you have your buy to the downside so you just need to understand the pros and cons of whatever one you are taking maybe you are taking the normal w or the normal advanced w so guys let's keep do your back test very well let's keep making the reef let's keep making the reef and let's keep what be patient with our what uh, broker trading should be fun trading should be fun see you guys in the next video